Let's now solve some questions on this part. Which two of the following statements about static testing are most true? A cheap way to detect and remove defects, this is correct. Static testing is a way to remove defects and find them early, which is a cheaper way than finding them late in the life cycle. It makes dynamic testing less challenging, this is wrong. Dynamic testing will always be challenging and what we do in static testing is just we find other types of defects. Early validation of user requirements. This is correct. We validate the requirements and make sure that they are written in a good way and testable way. It makes it possible to find runtime problems early in the life cycle. This is wrong. Static testing does not involve any type of runtime. When testing safety critical system, static testing has less value because dynamic testing finds the defects better. This is wrong. In safety critical systems, static testing is very important and it will find a lot of defects. And also both types of testing are important, static and dynamic. So here the correct answers are static testing is a cheap way and it validates our requirements. Which of the following techniques is a form of static testing? Error guessing? No, error guessing is a type of dynamic testing, which we will talk about in chapter 4. Automated regression testing? Of course, automated regression testing is also dynamic testing. Providing inputs and examining the resulting output? This is also dynamic testing, which requires execution. Code reviews is a form of static testing. In this way, code reviews means that we review our code in a manual way. This is different from static analysis. What is the main difference between static and dynamic testing? We know that static testing does not require the execution of the software. On the other hand, dynamic testing requires executing the software.